Hi folks, this is a quick video to show you how to work with zip files. First of all, what is a zip file? A zip file is simply a folder that's been compressed and also turned down into one file to make it easy for you to upload for someone um, or email it to them or also to download because not every system will allow you to upload a whole folder of files. So if you take that whole folder and turn it into a zip file, the program sees it as one file. It also tends to, but not always, make the, um, the content within the folder smaller so it's easier to upload, download, and email. So in this folder right here, I have something called Flow Template for Students. So we're gonna be working on a project that contains many files and the students need this whole file folder structure. So just to neaten it up for upload, I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to say send to compressed or zipped folder and it's almost immediately I've got a zipped up folder and you can see there's a little zipper on it just to show you that it's a compressed folder. Um, I can then go to wherever I need to go whether it's on D2L or in an email and then just upload it like you would any other file or attach it like you would any other file. Now the next piece is what do I do when I download a zipped file from another student or professor? How do I access those files? Because you can double click on it and see the files within it, um, but it can act a little strange if you try doing stuff within the zipped folder. So it's best to unzip the folder or uncompress it and turn it back into a regular um, folder. And so since I already have one with the same name in here, I'm just gonna copy it to the desktop first. So you just have to right click on it and then just say extract all. That's the easiest way to do it because it will unzip everything in the folder. And then I always just say extract because I want it to go back to the same place as the zipped file. And again, within just a couple of seconds, here I go, I have a regular folder again that I can work with just like anything else. So that's it on uh, zipping up and unzipping files.